there's something in this big brother house as in there's something that wants you makes you want to be with someone like you get you, you just want to have your your good to person where you just okay this person is my person this and the thing is that the funny thing i notice is that when someone comes close you know that jealousy thing comes up even though even though you're not in a ship with this person or something but it's something that keep happening so just with cc and um ek i as i what i watched what happened this night and i'm like oh this early morning i'm like okay now wow because ek actually thought cc told ek to go to the pink room in fact, instead with Pear apologizing to Sissy, Pear was effing drunk. Hey, have you seen Pear drunk? You will like Camo. Not so, so big, big English, you just speak. On Pasha, let's say, now when you drink like this, as in, uh, why your English, they too much. Even some I even told him, Pear, I like you, I like you when you're, you're drunk. He was just speaking English, get the, as in small thing, I say, ah, ah, what is wrong with Pear? For a good one hour, 30 minutes, Pear never gets himself home. The apology where he gives to CC, I don't even know if it's real. I don't even know if he will remember tomorrow he apologized to CC. So, he lived he was trying to just with EK in the room. CC was complaining that their voice was loud. He told EK to go to the other room. EK, you're trying to trigger me, you're trying to break me, you know, you and Perry, you know, they are close. <laughs> so, what's in? You know, she's always threatening EK in that relationship. So, and outside, when Ike was with Neo Adekun Leche, he already said a lot of the girls are lit, that, you know, they had too much to drink. <coughs> Excuse me, so that he's hoping if he can get something. He was talking with Elevae. So, Elevae now came and was now, you know, touched him to turn, so maybe they would just, since he still complained that their voice is loud. You know, he she was just cranky. Elevae now told this guy, I believe she is tipsy. First, the first time. Later, when she was just being too much, Ike now stood up and left. Ike left. You still should have followed Ike. That way I say, ah, oh, this thing not be smart, you know. You followed Ike. I don't know. Good people went to discuss, talk one thing. Maybe you told him to come back to the bed. Mercy left the blue room because of two of them. This night, Mercy carried her things to the pink room next to New because of two of them. So then she went to... Um, Sissy now came outside, maybe to beg Ike or something. He can now follow her inside. The thing I liked is that when they now got inside and started talking, you see this life here. Eh? Sissy said Eliva and Ike was disturbing her. She wanted to sleep. Now when Ike came back, he and Ike now started talking in a loud voice, disturbing Eliva from sleeping. So they were talking, talking, talking. The part I liked was when Eliva said, "You guys are disturbing me." They now started laughing because it's it's just ironical because. You, something you just complain someone was doing to you you just turn because now it's you Ike is talking to you instead doing it it was just they, they busted out laughing when they labor you complain because it's just like i caught you in your own game then they now start talking about uh Ike, you want me to beg you i will not beg you i will dance with that person you don't want me to dance and it looks like prince because sissy has been telling Ike about how he, she, she likes prince you can say if you do it that one it's brought doing inside because you know doing is moving to him too. That's hmm, the last day doing army well, about mercy. Oh, mommy, too. My own army, what don't do? Look at the time. Let me go to bed too. But finally, they start they talk to Trisha because they start just thing when um, Angela said, Why did I send you? When everybody said their voice was loud, they tried to reduce it from there. Carry the carry camera, they show us people with the snow. Don't you just woke up from her heavy hangover? Like she didn't even answer Biggie's call. Then from there back to them, they were still just in, but now finally they don't go to bed. So it's time for me to go to bed too. See you guys. Today is already today, but tomorrow shall. Good night. <laughs>